And that's when they made me the prince of the city. Anyway, hello and welcome everyone to our Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition Chronicle, Baltimore by Night. I am once again, oop, my hood, a storyteller. Um, Pre-game announcement. Um, again, Aya is off on uh, adventures and meet space. Um, she'll hopefully be back next session. Um, so, no Cozzolini this episode. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I don't really think there's many other beginning things. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't really think so. So, I think last session was a lot of interesting dialogue and stuff. Uh, would Katrina like to uh, give us a really quick summarization? Miss Editor of the videos, who has the better memory of things? Sure. So, uh, first up at the very beginning of the episode, Liz had Kinetic and uh, Lawrence's studio named Elysium. Uh, Jalon and Sean went to go talk to Linda, who was very sassy about the fact that Liz didn't come herself. Uh, and while there, Jalon incurred a two dice penalty on all dice rolls for a few hours after a particularly unpleasant feeding experience. Um, Mari and Mario sweep the theater in the bookstore and found 80 pounds of C, 80 pounds of C4. Uh, and then Sophia and Liz went to go talk to the venture Raymond Frost that deals with shipping to ask him about the explosives that Robin had brought in. He claimed he didn't know about it and gave us the list of people that he might have worked with, but we were kind of got the vibe that he was hiding something. But uh, then we got distracted because it turns out that when Mari went to the Chantry to warn them that Sabnock might not be safe in her basement anymore, uh, she left with a puppy and a child. Um... <laughs> My favorite part of the recap is just Reese laughing at all the shit he forgot about. <laughs> Uh, so then uh, after that, Sean and Jalan went to that bodega that Sean's blood bag contact told him is the drop-off location for the protection money that he's being blackmailed into paying. And they did some scoping out around there. Um, Jalan asked John B. his personal assistant if he would like a raise and to become his ghoul. Uh, and then Mari took the child and her new puppy that she named Gwen to Druid Hill Park, where she was approached by this random kindred who introduced himself as Amar, a fellow kindred, who offered to take the child off of her hands, which was very sus. Um, uh, all of us met up and uh, talked with Amir. Um, realize that he does seem to be on the up and up just very odd and peculiar especially peering out of nowhere uh we got his number and then we invited pavel there so that we could teach him teach this child to use blush of life so that we're not walking around with a corpse kid for however much longer this is going to be a thing uh, and we left off with Shalon heading to the club with his entourage, his entourage being his herd and his new ghoul. Um, Liz and Sophia leaving to go meet up with Linda, the Baron of somewhere I don't remember. Um, and everyone else, plus the child and puppy and Pavel, heading to whatever the fuck the Pavil cave is. Yeah. We actually got a fuck ton done last time. Mm. All right. Well, that let us begin a night of fun and excitement. <sighs> Thanks for joining us. Let us go. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, so, shall we begin with the uh, Liz part or the Pavel Cave? Which one wants I'm to go first? Go with the Pavel Cave. All right. 
So, uh, was it Mari driving her to the Pavel gave? Or, or Probably. Or Pavel Sean? doesn't have a car, does he? No, he bar he, you and then borrow yours again. I let him borrow mine. Yes, please. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll drive unless Sean wants to. I'll drive. <laughs> well, I mean, we might have to drive separately just because I also brought my car because I came later. Oh, I'll borrow one of your cars and you guys can follow me. No. Sure. Yeah, you can ride with me and you can just put it in the GPS. It's not that much fun. No, not here for fun. And the car. Zoo is later. <laughs> you get in, Pavel, start changing your radio station. As long as he doesn't change the presets. I think, yeah, listen to good music. What Oldies. are we listening to? <laughs> Oldies. Oldies is what? Um, Let's see. It's uh, about as oh, oh, you know. You really gotta clarify 40, 40. <laughs> when we're talking about immortal beings. What? Well, the at fuck the same time, they only mean? play certain music on um playing. Uh, music from um, uh, roughly this uh from the fifties to the seventies, kind of so, that era. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, very fun. So it's really nice that Liz gave me this bowling bag. Yeah. I don't think I remembered to do that, though. <laughs> We're going to say we mm. grabbed it just so way, because otherwise it's going to become a running joke where you never <laughs> get rid of it. It absolutely is. Yeah. And I, not many people get to see the Pavel Cave. Oh. I don't want you to judge me upon its appearance. Okay. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. Most people. Unless they just look like they're going to kill you. So you judge people's houses? No, I said we're supposed to do that with people in general. Just like. Yes. When you see a scary person, you just go across the street. You see little kids, you move across the street. Mm -hmm. They're ruthless. Yeah. Never uh, trust young children or old people. Neither of those groups care about anything except themselves. So you eventually arrive and it's it's not what the house you were expecting to pull up to. It's like near the edge of the city and it's a detached house, like three stories, got a yard. See a lot of flamingos and lawn gnomes. Say, like, don't judge. I like flamingos. Okay. Funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a giant one in the city. What do you mean? There's a restaurant that was here called, uh, is it Cafe Hun? Was it? That has a giant obnoxious flamingo outside, uh, outside as this like thing, and, and I'm not making that up. You can check that out if you want to look it up. Um, oh. It's like a story tall flamingo. Yeah, yeah she was also uh, yeah. so. So come on, um, looks uh, at Mari. He's like, hey, Mari, don't judge, don't judge. No, I like the flamingo. All right. You guys up to the front door. He's like, just put inputting his thing into a keypad. Got to make sure it's secure. He opens it up. And as you walk in, it's a pretty nice house you see lots of paintings on the wall um older furnitures like you know it kind of gives you a feeling that he hasn't really like updated some of the stuff since like you know 70s but still well maintained there's plastic on the 
furniture in the living room. Uh, nice place you got here, Pavel. Ah, yeah. Uh, just, just try not to touch all my, my, my stuff. Okay. I know where everything is. That's good. You should know where all your stuff is. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what do we all need now? Oh, uh, I think Liz wanted the kid to learn Blush Alive. Oh, yeah, teach the kid. All right, let's go to my uh, training room. What was your name again? I've already forgotten. Jacob with two Ks. Yeah. Jacob with two Ks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Jacob. Jacob, yep. Your name is what, Sean Power or something like that? No, that's a douchebag. <laughs> Watch Dishonored. <laughs> so he goes, he takes you to a um, another room. You see a lot of um, as you go to the room, you see along like the one upstairs, like where he's taking you along the wall. There's a lot of those um, uh, hutches that, uh, you know, that people put China Hutch thing that old pe older people have and just full of little knickknacks and stuff like figurines of various kinds. Ooh, precious moments. <laughs> eh, it's whatever it tickles my fancy. And I can take from people. Uh, don't go in that room right there. Okay, it's your house. I'm just making sure you know. Should we? Know. Are we? Are, is that an invitation to ask what's in there? No, it's just telling you if you go wandering around, don't go in that room. Okay. Yeah. And opens up a door. He's like, "All right, here's my training room," and it's just got like a couple mats down and. A lot of plastic along the walls. It's like, all right. Our training can be very bloody. Push the kid forward. That's all right, little Jacob. Uncle Pavel will teach you just well. It's awkward. All right. Are we supposed to leave? Are you going to get started? Yeah, I can get started. Uh, if you want, you can go down and just stay in the front room if you don't want to sit here while we discuss this for a while. Well, I've not really had great training, so I'm kind of curious. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Now, he sits down and like, all right, kid, you're a vampire. You're an undead abomination in this world. Yo did tell him what he was, right? Or did I just like rip the bandage off right there? You just ripped the bandage off. Good start. Good start. Let the, let the kid off. And the kid's like, Abruptly. So, as a vampire, you have blood. You can sort of, you, if you just concentrate and feel within yourself, you can feel the blood circulating. You can even smell and taste it. Um, and. And then he just starts going off on stuff, which you've all received when you were younger or first turned how to kind of instinctively blush your life and stuff. But the kid is still just kind of saying like, I'm a what? Mm -hmm. And after probably half an hour or so, the kid finally does some blush of life after Pavel joining. He's like, ah, it's really rough when they are a kid. Have you have you done this with a kid before? Do mm. sixteen year olds count as kids? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of uh, depends on the state. But yeah. overall I would say yeah. Yeah, so later teens. This is the youngest. I really. consider like 20 something still kids. Oh, yeah. I understandable. I consider like anything under like 40 a kid anymore. 
That kind of makes me feel nice. Yeah. Just looks over at Mari. Yeah, children. Okay, so are we going to the aquarium or what? <laughs> it was the zoo. Or the zoo, whatever. Maybe we head out of the zoo. Hey. Should have probably went there first, but okay. Uh. I did a kid, Jacob. Ah, uh, yeah. This is awkward. This is why I don't have me people come to my house too often. Oh. Yeah, no, we ha- I know we go to your place. You you invited us. So I mean, like it's. I don't know. I just th- thought you'd be that would it'd be a little bit cooler. Like when you invite someone to see your stuff, and then when they come over, and you're just kind of like, "Wow, my stuff's kind of boring." He's just disappointed because he doesn't have a switch. You haven't stolen one of those yet. I like using yours. You got all the games already. I need. If I get another one, I have to go through the whole process again. I just like being around people. That's cool. It's kind of lonely here. But you got all your trinkets and figurines. Mm -hmm. Your precious moments. I want to see about my Funko Pop collection. Oh, yeah? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, why not? Let's go to the basement. Got like a thousand of those suckers. A lot of them fell off the back of a truck. So you go and look at this beautiful collection. That is a beautiful collection. Mm -hmm. And I got all kinds. I got the funky ones and the poppy ones. I like the Mystery Science Theater ones. Those are good. Mm -hmm. They have the one where they they switch or combine Tom Crow and Tom and Crow together to make Tom Crow. Anyway, yeah. I also used to have a beanie, ba- uh, beanie um, collection, beanie baby. Beanie baby. Oh yeah, yeah. But I was smart. I sold those right at the height of popularity. I was smart. Yeah, just like my crypto, the super dog. No, the, well, I got a phone over there of them, but no, um, no, the the currency. Cryptocurrency. What is that? Well, nowadays it's an MLM. What is that? Pyramid scheme. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I don't mean the ministry's pyramid scheme. I mean other kind. So... <clears throat> This, this is great, Pavel. Uh, I really like seeing your collection and all of your, uh, your Funko Pops and your precious moments. Um, but uh, I kind of want to get out of here. <laughs> it's a lack of TV, isn't it? No, it's just, I don't know. I, you told me not to touch anything and I... I'm a, you know. You're a toucher. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Just, yeah. A lot of stuff I've stolen. Okay, let's go to the zoo. Back to where we just came from, basically. Yeah. Ooh, hope the dick dicks are out. Yes, we will see. As you head to the zoo, we'll cut to Liz and Sophie. Uh, uh, yeah, that <laughs> one. Sophocles? Oh. No. As you pull up to Kinetics. Because that's where you're meeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Seems like we were just here. I mean, basically. As you walk up, the GM approaches like, Hey, um, Miss Caldwell. Hey. I'm expecting a guest. I don't know if they're here yet. Yeah, there's a guest upstairs. He said he's waiting for you. He? Yeah, yeah what's the name? I, I didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't ask for it. I just said he's uh, waiting for you. Side eye, Liz. Okay. Uh, in the future, make sure you get a name. I swore I asked, but I don't remember it. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm also uh, expecting a... Oh boy, what's her last name? <laughs> Such respect. Uh, Linda, I, I... Liz would remember her last name. Kat's not. I'm having a brain fart. Overhaul. Thank you. That's good. Well, I'll be on lookout. Sean say his sire was going to meet me tonight as well? Sean sire is not a man. I know, but I'm just I'm wondering if I'm just going to run into everybody tonight. Possibly. I'm just curious about your current guest. Yeah, same. All right. Do you want uh, me to come with you? You're welcome to. All right. I mean... I'll head in. I do have blush of life on still. I also do as well. You head in. Uh, which kind, which room would you do most of your meetings in? Like an office, more like a casual sit place. Now that you're the queen, it probably depends. Up until now, we always done them in like the VIP like room. Mm -hmm. She would probably still do it there. Say, so, walk in. <laughs> As you walk in, you see an individual uh, like bent over behind uh, at the bar, just like going through things. Like, oh, what the? <laughs> like the private bar in the VIP mm -hmm. section. Yeah. Uh, can I help you? Person stands up, turns around, and you recognize a person you haven't seen in a while. Uh, helped you out in a fight. It is Farkas. Oh. Sorry. Literally, as soon as I said, oh, I just hear from the other room the highest pitched toy squeak that Terry has. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, Farkas. Squeaky toy sound. Hang it, subwoofer. <laughs> No, no. Does oh. he actually have subwoofer with him? Sure. <laughs> hey, how uh, long time no see? Um, uh, yes, months it has been. Yes. Uh, Linda she... sent me. Oh. She said, well, I'm only here another uh, couple days. I take flight back to old country where things make more sense. Mm. Um, she said, since it was not important enough for you to come in person that she will not be summoned like a dog and I said sent me to act as a proxy and that you are she is a baron and not to be summoned like some low servant of yours it's funny I thought she agreed to come to Elysium but she is very Curial when it comes to respect of things. Apparently. Uh, Sophia, this is Farkas. Farkas, this is Sophia. He's helped us out a time or two before. Pleasure. He sits down, puts his feet up on the table. He's like, ah. uh, nice I place. I don't come to clubs too often. That one was called Subwoofer, and is it's a it's a fucking wolf, isn't it? Or is oh, it God. a dog? It's a dog. I can't remember what species. Damn it. Probably a German Shepherd, I would say. Are we talking about the toy again? No, it's an actual dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he Park has an actual a dog with familiar. him. Familiar, yeah. Oh, he's got, that's right, he's got a dog. Let me see. Yes. 
Uh, so I act as proxy. I should trust me because we have connection when I saved you and uh, things. Right. So what do you know of an uh, individual goes by the name... Um... God, I'm having such a brain fart tonight. There, there's a there's a sheet that we have on the computer with all their I names. I'm pulling it up right now. Yes. Because normally I can just remember these things, but not tonight, apparently. Uh, Chris Taylor. Uh, oh yeah, he was um. Yeah, man, Chris. Yes, yes. He uh. We have not seen him in a bit. Uh, he was um. Unceremoniously, I think, uh, uh, kicked out of the gang. Can I ask why? Yes, you can. Why? Uh, if I recall the stories, because again, I'm not part of that. I just traveled through and I was visiting, and they were like, hey, focus. And I was like, hey, have you seen Santiago? And they're like, no, not lately. Um, <laughs> So from out of here, he has been doing a lot of stuff that is very liable or slander, uh, I think. Uh, very much hurting the uh, reputation and causing problems with them. So they decided that he should be free to make life or life decisions. Like lying about the gang or Linda or... No, no, not lying. Just more of um, stupid shit. Yes, mm. he has impulse control issues. I color me surprised. Why? It's sarcasm, Farkas. Uh, still working on making kind of an idiot. Uh. Well, while I do have a great deal of respect for you, I do kind of need to discuss this with the Baron. Why? Because it's a very serious matter of something that happened on in her domain. What happened in her domain? Very obfuscation. You're like Nasratu when it comes to speaking. Chris Taylor embraced a child. Ah. Okay. And what the problem? Uh. In years past, that's a little bit more acceptable, but in the modern day in the States, that is not a thing that can be tolerated. It's a breach of the masquerade and a threat to all of us. No, no, you, you... They must English, not uh, still learning um, from old country. Um, yes. What is problem in that? Why do you need Linda to deal with your issues? Are you not prince of this section of the city? This Camarilla? I am, but... Then what the problem? I don't know where Chris is. You don't need to know where Chris is. You're prince. Commit blood hunt. Send your people out for him and they will hunt him down like the animal he is. Camarilla, will, your, your Camarilla people will come out, hunt them down because that is your command. The, a lot of the Anarchs would do it because it's fun and good. They can get in good with other people. They also like just hunting down stuff. There are a lot of uh, people just like it. It's, you don't get those too often. You're the prince. You don't need other one's permission to do that. Unless you're a weak prince that always goes around and says, I need the permission, uh, permission to do things, in which case they're the power, not you. Are you not Prince? I am. All right. 
Grow click. Become strong. Worded beautifully, Farkas. Yes, I've been practicing Duolingo. You learned that word from Duolingo, huh? It's very advanced. Most people don't make it past that point. <laughs> <laughs> Only after like 30 days, they give up. <laughs> I feel like you're a lot further than 30 days in, my man. 6,000. Has Duolingo been around that long? (laughs) I was going to say no. (laughs) I didn't get too good with the numbers. (laughs) Maybe it's 6,000 hours. You tested out of that uh, chapter. Yes, but yes, be strong. He committed crime, embraced without permission, embraced child. Blood, declare a blood hunt. Hunt him down like animal. Get him, just kill, just slay. The child, slay. That outfit, you slay. Guys, thank you. You guys have any idea where he hangs out or was last seen? Oh, I haven't seen him in like a month. That's what about when we kicked him out. He also I was starting to uh, um, have issues because there's apparently another Chris in town that people confused him with. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that causing some issues. Yes. Is that it? Did you just need Parker's advice? And why is Jalan just standing there? I just imagine Jalan <laughs> just like open the door to see if anybody was in here and has just been waiting patiently because he didn't want to interrupt. Been so waiting he- impatiently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you all need anything? Everything to your satisfaction. You've been here the whole time. No, okay. I came with I came with friends. Just I heard you were in, so I came by to say hello. Jalan Farkas is here. I think you met for like five minutes a while back yes. during a very chaotic evening. Mm-hmm. Yes, I met. I, I did not meet her, but I met the rest of your uh, coats. She was not there at the time. Well, yeah, that's why I did not meet her. Fair. She missed oh. out. Uh, Apparently. Mm-hmm. She really did. Big thing. Like lots of zombies for the not uh giovanni people summoning things car flying through building missile launcher woman lifting car and throwing it I it was real ghost versus yeah it was exciting one of the most exciting days i've had recently just I interesting yeah. that's good mm. well thank you farkas you've been very helpful Yes. Smokes over to you, puts his hand on your shoulder. Remember, you queen now. You control. You have choice. You either be the power and make all the others bow before you, or you're a figurehead and are controlled and like puppet, like hand up ass. Just you can try to maintain a Razor's edge between the two, but it always fails. You go one way or another. So either you make everyone else your puppet, or they put their hands up your ass. Your choice. Advice for Farkas. Wise words. Thank you. That is good. Yes, But I'm going back to old country in a few days. Got a flight planned. Well, enjoy. Yeah. I don't like going in the cargo hold, but it's best I can do because if you try to go in the normal one, you know, ooh, somebody opened up sun. Ooh, dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, me and Subu we have to pretend we're the animals and go into the uh, thing. It's really annoying. Honestly, that's a lot more convenient than the way that I have to do it, so at least there's that. You don't have your own private plane? I didn't at the time. Uh, ship also works very well. I've heard that, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how I got here last time. Took a boat. There's a cruise ship. There's nice. Play a lot of shuffleboard. Yeah. So. Anything else you need, Farkas? 
I think we're good. Thank you. All right. Now, remember, your choice. Puppet, no puppet, woman up. Your choice. Understood. Ah. I tell Linda that the, 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 oh, all is well. Thank you. Yes. Uh, can I go to that? Uh, is it okay? I, I did not get go, tickets. Yeah, for... No, oh, go good. for it. Though, uh, in the future, maybe give your name to the person at the front. I, I was did. a little concerned. Yeah, he didn't remember you. Yeah, I made him forget. Yeah, I was a little concerned when I walked in the door, unsure whether or not I should be preparing for the business end of a dragon fire shotgun or some such. Had no idea who I'd be meeting. I was expecting Linda. Uh, okay. Also, in the mm -hmm. future reference, the use of disciplines like that in Elysium is frowned upon. And Technically, we were outside the front door. <laughs> Technically, yes, but the but the technicality work for Elysium. We own the sidewalk. The sidewalk would be an easement. It, we do not. Um, yeah. But I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, <there's> a, <laughs> check, that's the fine print. Yeah, a lot of times that is what is called an easement. Even though often you would be responsible for shoveling the snow and stuff, uh, the city is still technically owning it. Mm -hmm. That they do that to it get just, extra money. Yeah, that, it's really a, so advanced on Duolingo, my man. That I, I went to college in the old country for urban planning. You live a very interesting life, Vargas. When you're immortal or living for centuries, you got to find something to do. What is the old country? Like Europe. Uh, I'm from Hungary. Okay. Good yeah. to know. Hmm? I'm Hungarian. It's a country it, 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 yeah, yes. uh, near Romania. Mm-hmm. Interesting thing. There's an area in uh, the border between Romania and Hungary where a lot of Romanians speak Hungarian as their primary language and not actually Romanian. Interesting. That includes areas around what is Transylvania now, uh, which we know is Transylvania. Hungarian is also a relatively unique language in that it is not Indo-European. It is actually more related to Finnish. Who the hell is this guy? Enjoy your flight, Farkas. I'll try. Last time I got fleas. <laughs> I'll show him out. I just sit down on the couch. Interesting company you keep. Mm hmm. Also, the shit about the zombies was 100% real. That's an actual thing that happened. Oh, I believed him. Okay. I was mean, so far a ghost. The ghost thing, so. Well, I mean, so after that, fair, it's all downhill. The ghost and the zombies were connected. Oh, In great. fact, the ghost is because of that night. Somebody lingering? Yeah, pretty, pretty. Oh confident i was the, kidding but all right then the person who made the zombies sort of i mean we don't know it was two of them one of them farkas killed one of them um fell through a portal into the afterlife seems like they should have had a sign or something don't step here afterlife Oh, uh, well, he, I think he tried to do it deliberately and kind of got like sucked in. Uh, maybe because I shot him in the face with a dragon fire shotgun point blank. All right, then. Yeah, that to went be on. Fair, he was trying to kill us and Mari and Mari's. Why? Molecule reasons. We're going to kill everybody. They were doing some ritual to bring back some. Have you Giovanni seen Ghostbusters too? Shithead. Huh, the Statue of Liberty one. 
Yeah, like it was like was... Ghostbusters 2. There was a, a dead guy who was really strong and they're trying to bring him back. And there was ghosts. The guy in the painting, Vigo. Yeah, Vigo. Vigo. Yes. They were doing yes. the, they were trying to do Vigo and we stopped it. I, see. I mean, honestly, yeah, no, that that's 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 pretty accurate to how it went down. So instead of a, a statue dance like walking and music, it was a dragon fire shotgun and a flying vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, driven okay. by a uh, by a friend of Mari's, who is a absolute badass that you've not met yet. I have not met this absolute badass yet. He's very busy, but very competent and skilled. Um. Okay. So that guy came instead of Linda. Apparently. Yeah, apparently she didn't like being summoned like a dog, so she sent two other dogs. Well, politically, I think it was a better option for you not to go, because that would have made you seem even weaker if you went to ask to meet her. Thank you. I agree. You really I mean, had no way, it... no way to win. This was the only way to do it. I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. I don't want to start, a... I don't want to step on the Baron's toes because I'm trying to maintain the scraps of this treaty that Ebenezer was building. But every fucking thing I do, the barons are never going to respect me no matter what because I'm mm. Camarilla. So what's the fucking point of trying? The only option is it shows strength and then try to be strong enough they can't do anything. Yeah, because if she's mad at you for not going in person but you're the prince so she can go to hell and I mean, she probably would have been beyond like equal power level well she would have been just as pissed if you order a blood hunt on one of her people and didn't give her the benefit of giving her a heads up so she's just being a twisted pain in the ass i'm to sure fair, her apparently he's not one of her people anymore she could have just disavowed him recently and said it was longer ago True. Just cover herself. She's probably she might have... making up being insulted too, just to poke you. I agree. I think it's a test, you know, little little stirring the pot, seeing what boils to the surface. If you you don't respond in a certain way, she knows she can push a little further. You got to find a way to have, uh, what's his name? Charlie Chris. You got to find a way to take down Chris in a way that makes her look stupid. Chris Taylor. That would be nice. Yeah. Maybe put out that she couldn't do it herself or she let something happen under her watch. Yeah, apparently he had been causing trouble and embarrassment to them and she just cut him loose rather than staking Dealing his with ass him? and actually doing anything about it. Sounds like a weak leader to me. That's how people could see it. Put it out that you're cleaning up their mess since they don't have the stones to put down their own troublesome problems. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, Chris Taylor is going to die mm -hmm. at some point. Um, Sooner the better. Make an example of it. I don't him. know what to do with this kid. Shalon, hmm? I don't know if you've heard. Apparently, Mari is... I'm engaged again, is she? No. No, she's, she's, on a, <laughs> she's on a field trip with a small child, a dog. She's just adopting strays. And a certain mechanic, and I heard they're going to the zoo. Well, everybody loves the zoo. Apparently. I was gone. We were gone. We were separated for three hours, and next thing I heard, she had the child and a puppy. You sort of had a puppy also. What the, the dog fuck was. Did I have a puppy? There was a dog here a minute ago. Yeah, that's Farkas is familiar. It left with him. I sometimes, mean, there's sometimes a dog comes couch, into your life, and you just got to deal with it. Well, apparently Mari's dealing with a dog that came into her life. That's fine. People like dogs. They work close. Dogs are a lot of work, though. Yeah, well, maybe I'm more concerned with to... the child eating the dog. 
Mario needs something simple and clear to focus on sometimes. Something not complicated. That can help anybody. I guess that's true. Anyway, um, so apparently we found somebody that offered to take the kid in. Great. Problem solved. <laughs> It feels too perfect. Don't like, overthink honest, these things. I, I kind of was hoping for that. I don't like the idea of punishing this child just for the crime of being forced to exist when that's not a thing that he asked for. But at the same time, what the fuck kind of life is this kid going to have? There's only so much you can do about that now. Yeah. And I don't know if we can trust this Amir fellow. Apparently, he's former Sabat, which, like, initially, would my instinct would be like, absolutely not, no way in hell. But so are at least one member of the council. So. That kind of seems. He did just show up very much at random in the right place. I mean, he did say that he happened to be walking through the area and it was a crowd of like three people at two in the morning in a park with a child like corpse. They kind of stood out. He seems like the least weird thing out of that. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Well, you either have to destroy it or get rid of it in some way, and maybe this is this is a good way to do that. Yeah. To send him away is not your problem anymore. It's true. Anyway, you mentioned that you had friends. Don't be so surprised. Well, I mean, I apologize. I did not mean it like that. I just, anybody that we need, that I that I should meet. Or Nobody don't know. It's know, uh, John or... B and some of the girls. And oh. Are, are, like, John B's a ghoul now. Oh, he did accept? Nice. Yeah, he's uh, moving on up. Nice. He seemed more worried about the pay raise currency more than the, uh, the youth probably... and, and vitality. He probably but doesn't fully understand. It'll sink in. I mean, how how much have you really told him? Well, how much could I really tell him? Oh. I tried to explain it. He seemed to be. He went. He was cool with it. I think he he knows enough about everything to not be too surprised. Not ask too many questions when you get a good thing. That's fair. Other than that, I'm not doing much. Just showing them all a nice time. Trying to work on getting my herd built up. Getting Betty and Veronica and Sabrina to give me some advice on some... Uh... That. I need to feed. Question. Oh, I, I had one of that earlier. It was terrible. That's terrible. Sorry. Question. Hmm. Has anything come of the explosive situation you're dealing with? Any word on any of that being located <laughs> yeah did we solve that whole problem are we good let me um I'm just call. i don't want to be sitting here and suddenly kaboom oh uh, well here. they weren't planted here at least sure um <laughs> i will call bill doyle the cop. cop that was supposed to sweep the community center. Bring us your task, act. Billy Doyle. Uh, Bill, this is Elizabeth Caldwell. Hey, how can I help uh, you? I was wondering if you'd, uh, if your contact had uh, swept through the building as requested. Yeah, we swept through, found some stuff, um, got a few people in there to start trying to remove it. Uh, should be safe in about, oh, 48 hours or so. 
Fabulous. Can I ask how much you found? Uh, you know so far, that, how many pounds? So far, about a hundred some pounds. Can you let me know the final count? Sure. Do you need me to um, misplace it? Sure. That would probably be ideal. And what do you want me to misplace it to? Mm, well, more of just get rid of it. I don't have oh. a designated home for it. And What's now, Linda's address? Okay. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, we'll find a way to um, find a new home for it. Don't tell me you didn't Thank think you. about that. I was actually thinking of someone else. Oh, do you tell? Robin. I just don't know who the fucker <laughs> is. That's why, you know, Linda sounded more interesting. It would be just like that movie, Knock Off. <laughs> a movie about the fashion way. industry and uh, knockoff clothing. That's why I know about it, Jalan. <laughs> and as you're discussing, we cut back to Druid Hill Park as two cars pull up to outside a closed zoo. We are here. We are here. I was like, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. No problem. They're all like, we invited you. Well, he was already there, and also he invited us to his house. I mean, it'd be kind of rude. But it's like, yeah, went to your house, got your got your help, and then, uh, yeah, fuck off. We're going to the zoo. <laughs> be kind of rude. Yeah. What year is it again in the in the game? I think uh, twenty twenty one. I think. Okay. No, I think we entered into twenty twenty two. We started in twenty twenty one. Ah. The, the penguins get put away because of the bird flu. Hmm? Oh. That's, a, that's the thing that's happening at the zoo now. I mean, they're kind of May, far though. away. <laughs> No, I was like, yeah, it's a. Uh, y'all been to the zoo before? No. Yeah, no. Well, it's closed, so we're going to have to break in. Okay. All right. I can do that. <laughs> so, how would you prefer we, we break in? Also, it, have you been to the zoo before? It's been a while. Would define a while 12 years? Okay, that's a while. Mm -hmm. Just curious about like cameras and stuff. I like it quite a few, but I know a, saw a back entrance that we can uh, go through. Oh, well, let's go that way. Yeah. That's one of the entrances where they take like supplies in the back end so that people don't, you know, see the stuff. Nice. That's where I broke in before. Cool. Need you to a wrought iron gate on the outside. It's like, uh, okay, so. Do we just do you said you want to try because I can get us in it's a wrought iron gate yeah what this is, it's got a how tall is it I guess you can we try to climb over jump over or we want to lock pick it yes that's more up to the group of like do we want to climb jump or I mean Mari, Jacob. Jacob's like, I can't jump that. I'm just a kid. Oh, we can throw you. That doesn't sound pleasant. Uh, well, you, you know, it's like when little kids, you know, you're just like, wee, but it's more of an arc than it is just a straight up and down. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, I've never broken into a zoo before. Well, this is the first time for everything. All right. Well, uh, just let it's me. Let me... It's just like we can just go into the gate. I just picked it. Oh, okay. You guys are talking too long. We just got here. I okay, want to see the... the animals. Okay. Thank, thank you. Hey, Pavel. We appreciate you are taking initiative. Pavel's talking to his inner demons. 
Awesome. Trina came down to uh, check on the dog and give him his uh, special um, handkerchief. Mm. Starting to do either, uh, I think, thunder or fireworks, one of the two. Or both, that's Baltimore City. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, start walking in, but I was like, oh, I know what we need right now. Pluto. Looks in the distance like one of those golf cart things that they drive around on. Yeah. I like like grab grab like Jacob and like throw up on my like my shoulders as I like run over. Yeah. Jump on it. Mari, get in. <laughs> or get your own. One, one, one of those two. No, I'll get in. Pavel can sit in the back. <laughs> why, 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 why are you always sitting me in the back? <laughs> so, you uh, drive around. There's not a lot of animals out, out because, you know, it's after hours. Uh, there's uh, so often they take them into the backs, but um, there are some you see. But as you are driving along, roll me some. Oh, our favorite skill set wits and awareness. Uh, and I'm at hunger two. Okay. Uh, uh, two successes, one of them being a critical on the blood die. But you but, didn't get two criticals. No, no. All right. Just two successes. Uh, two successes as well. Right. So, as you're driving, you are surprised for the most part as what essentially is a very large wolf just kind of jumps in the road in front of you and just like starts staring at you with its heckles up. You're like... Right. Slam on the brakes. Like, whoa. Uh... Uh, Pavel, is that normal? I've not been to the zoo. Oh, shit. As you are watching this thing, you see it like twist and transform into a man. It's like, oh my god, it's a werewolf. Can I be a werewolf? Pavel, can I be a werewolf? Oh, fuck, man. Okay. The individual approaches like, what are you doing here? We're vampires. We want to see the zoo. Can only come at night. And that welcome to you. Okay. We're not really welcomed anywhere because we're vampires. Yeah. You're tainted beings. And you are? You can call me Ralph. My real name isn't something I would want to give to you. Fair. I'm Sean. These are the others. So if we're done here, we're going to keep going. No, you're going to be turning around and leaving. <sighs> Do we have a problem? Yes, you're on our territory. Our territory as in My werewolves? Pack. Yes. Oh, cool. Actual werewolves. Yes, I was right. As opposed to... Assholes that are vampires too, but can turn into animals. Oh, yeah. I think they're the gangrels. I don't know. Yeah, we've dealt with them. Have a very tenuous non-compete clause with them. 
in this city. Because I'm going to need you to turn around and leave the zoo. Uh, or... Mr. Ralph. Uh, hi. My name is Mari. Um, I... We don't mean any harm to any of you. And we just kind of want to... And I hopefully not starting anything by saying any of this but uh we just kind of want to like look we we want to look around a little bit and we promise not to intrude on anything um so just for like maybe an hour that be possible no is there anything we could do leave besides leave not really. There's our territories. There's your territories. We don't go in the matters of your kind. You don't deal with matters of our kind. This is a few areas of natural life in the city. It's protected by us. Well, did kind you know of, this? I was like, oh, yeah. And you didn't tell us? I thought they were out of town. Why would you think that? Because they didn't attack us while we were in the park itself. Oh. By the parking lot? No, Druid Hill Park's part of their territory. Normally when we enter, unless we're like one of their, you know, got a repertoire they come out and basically harass us till we leave they didn't so i figured they weren't in town why did we choose that park then why did you choose that park all right hang on just, just a second park. just a second ralph not you what what did i what did i that's, choose a park that specific park <laughs> this specific I, park i don't know i thought it was nice I... let me guess you... your new Fresh ones. You got baby fangs, huh? Uh, some more than others. Figured there'd be one of two kinds coming up in our territory like this. Either little babies or dumbasses. Why not? We're both. <laughs> They're going to need you to leave our territory. Fine, if you're going to be a bitch about it. Versus... Are you just using that as a normal insult, or are you saying that because I'm a werewolf? And peace. Back out. And as you're driving out, you do kind of... They seem to make themselves known, and you see like at least four or five other large wolves just along the path as you're moving out. Val, how likely could I actually take in one of those? At least one of those. You, yourself? Uh, it varies, but my money would be on them because I haven't seen you fight yet. Mm -hmm. I just, uh I don't know what you're capable of. As far as I know, you're a mechanic. Fair enough. I don't know what I'm capable of either. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, I don't mess with a pack of werewolves myself. Um, I know a couple, like Ebenezer. Uh, I know he's fought a couple and come out. But especially if you don't know what you're doing. Well, kid, I hope you enjoyed the zoo. It was fun for what we saw. We could, you know. Oh, let's go piss in the movie. bushes real quick. We can't do that because we're vampires. Fuck. If I was like, well, the, <laughs> um, you can piss something if you really try. Uh, I'm not interested. All right. Fine. 
I'm sure Liz would be more than thrilled to find out if we get, you know, if we started shit. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the friendlier packs, though, so we're good. Huh. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to do, Jacob? Uh, can we get ice cream? I suppose so. Uh. Find out if you can eat ice cream or not. Uh. Well, well, I'm not lactose intolerant. I had a friend who is. Every time he has ice cream, he gets the farts. Cool. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we could go get ice cream. Mm. Or, but is it possible for me to get coffee? Sure. What kind? I did had coffee before. Okay. I haven't had a lot of stuff because I've been in the hospital for like half my life. Oh yeah. Yeah. They don't. They only give you like Jello, pudding, chicken cacciatore, uh, you know, stuff like that. Man, I've been pudding it forever. So where's a good place to get coffee? Anywhere. It all kind of tastes the same. Really? I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Hmm. If I was just like, uh, yeah, I'm going to go do uh, my own thing. All right. Have fun. Yeah. Bye, Thanks for letting us know about the werewolves in advance. That was really nice to know. Thanks again. Bye. It's a lesson learned. Don't go to the zoo at night. Don't ever go to the zoo. Don't have fun. Okay. Oh, I didn't say I don't have fun. That's what I've heard. Anyway, you two enjoy your date. Well, Jacob, you're way too young. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the, give me one second. The dog is being a little. He's very upset because the thunder right now is going absolutely nuts. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but. I it's... can't hear anything. Very, very, very loud here. Maybe that means less fireworks. I mean, that yeah, I don't think possibly it's possibly good yet, weirdly. But like I thought, I thought the vampires took care of the werewolves or whatever, because that was there was a whole one shot with Jess Santiago. I mean, they I think that was like a of like Santiago was taking out werewolves. Sabat. That wow. was like a one one mission. Oh, yeah. Was it? They, okay. Sorry. It's I, wild that this is the first time we encounter werewolves. Yeah, they were they were Sabat. Santiago okay. knows a werewolf. Isn't his it's cousin right. or somebody a werewolf? Yep. They, we run that, same, they run in the no, same. They run in the same circles. No, we don't. Okay, I've, yeah, I, yeah, I haven't so, seen that one. In there was years, probably so. werewolves at that bar we went to earlier. People at home, uh, it is thundering here, and our dog does not like thunder. So, smart. I hope people don't mind a cute, a scared dog on my lap occasionally. All right. Hey, I've so. had a fuzzy cat pop at you multiple times already tonight. Mm -hmm. Hi, Terry. The panic panting. <laughs> so. We'll get back to other group. Oh, wait, that's us. Yeah. At least we're split into twos this time instead of fives. So, um, Jalan. What's up? What, is, what are you doing? Just relaxing this evening? I will. I, I ghouled someone. That's a big deal. That's very big deal. That's, that's enough for one day, I think. We went, I did that, and now we're out at a club. I see. Not a bad way to end an evening or start an evening. Didn't have any big plans other than that. I don't have Lady a city. Caldwell. Yeah, oh, she has, I was just saying I don't have a city to rule, so pretty easy going. 
Well, I don't know about the two of you, but I know I need to feed, so I will probably be hitting the dance floor. Yeah. And then... As you walk down to the dance floor, you just hear him going, Farkas, Farkas, Farkas. I see a crowd just surrounding him, and he's like doing like 80s break dancing. Interesting. We've got the best floor for that. It's real nice for break dancing. So have a little uh, spring action to it so you don't get the hard, like painful knee action. Mm. It's a bit bouncy. Good. But not like one of those uh, trampoline basketball courts. No, no, no. That, that would be terrible because your drinks would spill. True. Well, most people's drinks. Yep, it's starting right now. Okay. Mm. So yeah, so um, yeah, so you see that as you're going, uh, Liz goes try to find a person of the right uh, age group, which you kind of cater to for the most part. Yeah, uh, she's specifically looking for somebody that is uh, sanguine. Ah, sanguine. Uh, do you have a way to really tell before you feed? Um, not really, but uh, Jalan is here, so I could ask for his assistance if he's willing to. Uh... I could be your wingman. To sniff something out. Yeah, I would appreciate that. I could help too if you needed. Like a night at the Roxbury. Yeah, so you see a lot of people there having a good time. Like so Fergus was in the middle, just like doing 80s like robot dances. It's good he's good at nights out before he goes back to Europe. Yeah, Liz is kind of hungry. She's not exceptionally picky right now. She's just looking for somebody that fits that. And all right, the age. Uh, so, is it what resolving uh, awareness to use that blood sense? I believe so. We used it last time, I think. Right? Uh, yeah, I think I did at some right. point. Where yeah. I got three successes on it. Res- resolving. What is it? Oh. Awareness, I think. Uh, resolve and awareness. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Too oh. bad I still have that negative. No, oh, you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I call it, I'd call it food poisoning. Yeah. As I got you, uh, like two successes. Remember, you can do a blood surge. No that blood would make surge. you hungrier. This isn't important to me. That's valid. Yeah. You do find uh, several people on the dance floor within the grouping that uh, are um, mildly singing, which you know, dancing. A couple of them grinding on each other. You know, I uh, yeah, I give I give Jalan a nudge and like will like help dance them in Liz's vicinity. <laughs> yeah, Liz will, go to dance. Uh... Nope, back off, back off, back. <laughs> Uh, Liz will just approach whichever one seems to be the most receptive to dancing with other people and attempt to see a guy just like, hey, how's it going? Hi there. Not that one. (laughs) Dancing, dancing. It's like this club is banging tonight. It's banging every night. Well, yeah, but tonight it's exceptional. Like that Farkas guy is like cutting up a rug. He's like I don't know what's talking about him. He's something else, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like he watched a lot of Michael Jackson videos on repeat for a long time and learned. Yeah. And, and Liz, is, Liz is not interested in a ton of conversation tonight. She's had a very long evening. She's just going to try and like dance this guy up and then see if she can convince him into a dark corner to feed. Just take him to the dark corner. He's like, hey, um, now, uh, do you want my number now? After feeding, yeah, she'll take his number, but then she's gonna, uh, I'll do um, a cloud memory to mask the actual feeding act. It's like, why are we in the corner and not on the dance floor? Oh, I imagine the show. Mm. Yeah, because I can't. 
Because we were making out, of course. I don't yeah. remember that. That's what you get for drinking on an empty stomach. I swore I ate some pretzels before I got in here. Uh, Auntie Anne's, uh, nice big ones. Yeah. Salty. So, uh, Deep. And then she will make her way back to the rest of the crew after feeding. How how much is it to feed um, the like maximum non lethal or non painful two? Uh, one, two, two. I think it's two. Yeah, two. Okay, good. I am back down to one. Welcome back. And I can finally get my next discipline. Finally. Oh my. Like Exciting. Seven sessions later. <laughs> Are you going to be throwing cars next? No. <laughs> no, I didn't get that one. Maybe next time. Uh, so so heading back to the to the pair of you two if you guys aren't doing anything else. Just dancing casually. I would have gone back to the people I came with unless but they were like nearby, so we could all hang out if you mm -hmm. wanted. If there was more official business. Um nothing really official. Uh oh, uh Jalan, I talked to um the guy that was sweeping the community center and he said that it Ralph? should be no no not literally like sweeping oh. it for yeah the other stuff not for debris not for dust um and they said that they found a good amount of stuff but it's going to take about 40 more hours to get clear everything out so we'll be sleeping in the basement for another couple of nights unless you uh, better better be thorough. Yeah. You can always crash at my place if you don't want to stay here, but that's up to you. I appreciate it, but I think that we have plenty of security in place here. Okay. I mean, I also do have a place that I live in. But do people know you live there and have you had it checked? For fleas. Yeah, that's a thing that I've been concerned about too. I haven't. And now I'm uncomfortable and unhappy exactly. and worried. Mm -hmm. I I would be as well. My building at least has a lot of security, but that didn't stop the community center at all. Hmm. Um, nothing we can do but wait and let them work yeah before I do anything regarding uh, the discussion with Farkas and Linda I do think I should maybe talk to the Primogen Council um Sean, you hung out with him a little bit tonight. Do you know anything about uh has Sean said anything about his new friend in town? Uh what do you mean? It, his sire. He doesn't seem to like her very much or want to hang out with her a lot. But yet he invited her to meet both me and Sophia. Well, I mean everyone should meet the princess. You're in charge. Anyone who comes to town, that's like their duty, right? Yeah. He gave me uh, her telephone number. Yeah, I was there for that. And it seemed extremely spiteful and sassy when he did so, which is part of why I'm a little concerned. She's like other sires I met. She wants something for herself and she's going to do it whatever she can to get it, regardless of what you want or what you're doing. But I'm sure you have that in mind whenever you talk to anyone. Mm. That reminds me, speaking of sires that will do anything to get what they want, 
uh, can you talk to yours and see about getting me that list of 90 plus people so I can actually vet who the hell is on it? Yeah, I'll ask. I'm sure he had it ready before he even asked you. Yeah, and yet just... I don't have it. Yeah. Well, everyone wants to figure out where, you, where they stand with the, the new person on the top. Could be a power yeah. move. Which seems odd for him. He doesn't seem like the type to be interested well, in that sort of... In some game. ways, every movie makes is a power move from a certain point of view. Because of his all of the power that he has. You guys can't hear, but like as soon as you mentioned power move, we just got like this really loud <laughs> peal of thunder, <laughs> which is why Captain flinched. <laughs> oh, I heard it. I heard a little something. Yeah, it's it's very faint. Um uh. I just feel like, I don't know, like everything I do, there's a million things that I'm forgetting about. God fucking damn it, I forgot about that head again. You should get like a, uh, a retainer or a personal assistant or some kind to help you with the minutia. I have, I have somebody, she's just, she's not, I don't know if she can be trusted to handle the, like, kindred side of things mm. and now that hurts my feelings Just you need to get yourself a, get yourself you. a jumbie he's been invaluable uh she's she's uh actually she was initially an intern that worked with the museum i've been having her mostly do paperwork with some of the art pieces and stuff that i've been working on on the side but now that I'm busy all the time, I suppose it might be worth bringing her into the fold. I mean, you it do couldn't... need to start sort of putting tasks out to other people. Delegating more. Delegating, yes. Delegating. Expand your personal influence instead yeah, of just Yeah, that's what I was trying influence. to do tonight. It kind of blew up in my face with Linda. So I feel like no matter what I would have done, that would have happened because no, I think she there, was trying to set you up. Is there a more official channel for a prince and a baron other than intermediaries? See, that's the infuriating thing because I don't know how much of that conversation you heard, um, Jalon. Um, and I'll, I'll say we probably should move to like the VIP for this if we're not already there. Um, but like so the way that I understood it is that if it was as prince, I have authority in my domain. Where that happened was where it happened was technically your domain? No, the, it was the no man's land. So does that mean it's not your responsibility at all? It's no, well, it's, it's, it's open warfare, basically. It's anybody's claim. Well, once the problem walked into your domain. Now, then if you're... we were to find him and he were on her domain, then that would be her problem. That's why he's your problem now. But we don't know where the fucker is. Well, we just send people, you just yeah, send people so out, right? Blood Hunt is the, the best option. To find I his see. ass. Yes. Isn't they determined who he was using a spell on the boy? Could they Correct. use a similar spell to determine his location or make his head explode or something? Uh, make the head explode. Apparently, according to Mari, is quite difficult. Well, yeah, I believe in Mari. I believe she could do anything. To be fair, uh, they were talking about a different kind of Robin was talking about a different kind of head but um, I think the principle still applies that one guy burst into flame that one time could you do that that was I know it's not all the same it's all different things but I know but that was that was the prince that did that that was the Guess former what? former prince <laughs> that was that was the, the Tremere prince Marco I don't know if you met him 
when you were embraced uh Sophia. no uh he was a piece of work uh, apparently he and... had someone burst into flame yeah uh while cozy was sitting right next to him that must have been quite the show it was a worrisome evening for for all of us but none of us were actually at that part of it except for yeah. cozy we we really need to play like I was gonna. I, I was gonna say at some point that we should p- play that that old like two truths and a lie game with you, Sophia. But honestly, like every truth we tell you would sound like a lie. That like coming up with something that sounds believable enough that is also a lie would be impossible. Interesting. I mean, I'm 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 up I'm up to try at some point if you really want to. So, and yeah. on this conversation, let's cut to the other two. <laughs> the other two are going to get in so much trouble. I think. So, two of you uh, driving. With, who has the key in the car, uh, Mari? Sure. All right. All right. As you're driving, you get a. Uh, call coming through on your phone. Hello, who is it? Uh, uh hello, the the uh, Mari. Yes. Yes. It's a Cesari. I I got a new number. I uh, I was hoping you still had your, your same number. Yeah, I do. Hi, hi, Cesari. Hello. Yeah, I've. Uh, been having a, a good time here with uh, on vacation, and I uh, think I'm about ready to return to the uh, Baltimore area and start a new life. Oh, that's that's great, Cesari. Mm. Um, when are a, you thinking of coming back? Uh. I'm already in the city. Surprise. Uh, oh. That's great. <laughs> yes, I, um, I came back a couple hours ago. That I, I, It took a bit for my phone, uh, new phone to fully charge. I, my old phone kind of got destroyed. I'm uh, sorry. And kind of really, uh, it fell into the Mediterranean. Oh, oh, okay. You were, um, you were that far away? For part of my uh, vacation, yes. Oh, well, um. Would you like to meet tonight or at a later time? Tonight? Uh, not tonight. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um. Uh, are you going back to your your home? Oh, um, no, I don't think I'm going to return to Italy. Oh, no, 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 your house. Ah, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I was actually, um, I, I was debating that. I think I might return to at least get my some stuff and get a new place and sell the old one. Uh, new life, trying to rid myself of the old. Ah. Oh. Um. Well, it, it's good to hear from you. <laughs> it has been a while, Mari. Yes, yes. I talked uh, to Denise a little the last couple of days, and I figured you were really busy, so I decided to give you a yeah, call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, I will talk to you tomorrow. Uh, do you want to meet somewhere? Uh, I will meet you at uh, the uh, Flying Duckman if it's still open. Uh, maybe not the Flying Duckman. Um, oh, is it something wrong? Uh, it's closed for the time being. Oh, what? Anything bad happened? Do you need some money to help repair it? 
No, I'm fine. Um, I just, uh, it, it's fine. Uh, if we could meet at, um, uh, maybe, uh, uh, uh literally oh anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I would text you an address that I uh, of a place that is very nice. Oh, how about that? Uh, uh the Luna's restaurant. Uh, that that's was a nice place. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, good. See you tomorrow. Let's say nine. Yeah, that's that's great. Oh, wonderful. Ah, ciao. Bye. Sorry, out. God dang it. <laughs> Kids like who's that? Uh, uh that's nobody. <laughs> um, where'd you talk to a nobody then? Okay. Uh, well, it's it's it was it was my ex boyfriend. Uh, but. <laughs> He is back in town, uh, and that I don't need to be telling this to a kid. I look forward. <laughs> um, I'm a good listener. No, it's okay. The, the nurses told me a lot of their issues when I was just laying there, especially after a surgery, and I was still like a little drowsy, and they didn't think I was paying as much attention. Oh, uh, well, we'll just. We'll, don't don't worry about it jacob it's it's not a big deal it's really not a big deal and just you just feel his little hand reach out and touch your arm and then he's like do you still love him no <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i i don't think i did to begin with mm. um but i, uh, I do care about him a lot i see that that, that. And the shows I watched uh, does indicate that would be that I should say something like it, it's okay. Follow your heart. I watched some soap operas that had that scenario. I didn't want to watch them, but you know, when it's like eleven in the morning, you know, after you're there, there's like Will of Fortune, Jen uh, soap operas really for a while, especially at a hospital because they don't have a full cable package. Yeah. Um yeah. Guiding Light and stuff. I don't know if that's still on, but that, you know, those kind of shows. No, uh, well, I I appreciate you listening, uh, hmm. Jacob. And I think we're probably at the ice cream place now. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been sitting outside for a while. Oh, yeah. No, no, no we have. <laughs> Sean's just sitting out uh, waiting for you to open the doors. I'm getting ice cream and bringing it over to them. <laughs> It's like, ooh. Well, you do experience in a few uh, uh, minor issue of vampirism as the kid eats his ice cream. Oh, uh, that's what I was afraid of. By the trash can, by the trash can. It's like, ah, it's like, oh no. Whatever happened to me made me lactose intolerant. Well, that would be being the whole, like, you know. Yeah the, yeah, the smelly guy said I was a vampire. What exactly does that mean? What, like, do you not know the concept of a vampire? Or you... well, I like I've I uh, when it was late and I wasn't supposed to be up because I said I'm young and I'm supposed to be you know going to bed. I did watch some TV, and I have seen a couple different shows with vampires, but they all were different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's one that's like true blood and then there's another one that was like twilight and another one that was interview with a vampire mm -hmm. okay and they all were very different did you see fright night no okay i would have then have to ask you if this is your old one the old one's better uh uh yeah it's just, uh, from what i've learned uh meeting these guys uh mari and her friends 
Uh, Are you not Barry's friend? I don't know if I'm friends with any of them. How do you not know if you're friends or not? Do you get along with them? Do you communicate? No. Why don't you communicate with them? They seem to be friendly people. I have abandonment issues. Mm. Uh, so anyway, there's a lot of different types of vampires out there. Uh, there's some crazy strong ones. There's some that can kind of be animal-ish. Like, there's whatever Mari is. She's got magic. She's a pretty one. There are sometimes pretty vampires like Shalon, Mari. There's ugly ones. They all come in all shapes and sizes. Like people. Like people. Mm-hmm. But only and dogs. Words. And dogs. And hot dogs. Hot dogs tend to be very phallic. But they all taste differently and come in different shapes and sizes. Just like um, other foods. <laughs> exactly. He gets it. But you should be friends with them. They seem very friendly to you. They, they, they seem to be really nice. And, you know, you went to the zoo with us. Yeah. And? I'm just saying, you shouldn't let a uh, few issues get in the way of true friendship. I have no real friends because I spend much of my time in the hospital. My last friend, you know, he passed away a couple months ago because, you know, his disease got to him. Uh, here's interesting, but you don't have that issue. So you can make all the friends and they'll be friends forever. Potentially. Yeah, that's a great gift. That's what I'm looking forward to. All the vampire friends I can meet with uh, through, through it uh, forever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pat his head, like ruffle his hair, like, yeah, yeah totally. I just can't wait to tell my parents. Oh. Yeah. Uh, look over at Mari. Uh, look back. I, How close are we to her? Like, or did we walk off to the trash can? I thought you walked off to the trash can. That's why I wasn't saying that's why. Well, that's that's why I like looked back, like that she's at the table. Yeah, not already. that far away, but you know, at the trash can, so only a couple of feet. Uh, uh, a couple dozen feet, you know. Uh, I'll I'll walk up to the trash can uh, as and um, I say, um, should we wait? Jacob? Should we wait till we're in like the big group? Maybe. <laughs> um, uh, Jacob, there is a lot of life changes that come with the ha- being a vampire. Um, oh, oh, is that like the the, the hair? The hmm? hair. The uh, my friend said that when life start, uh, that I eventually get to a point where there's going to be life changes, <laughs> oh! and I'm going to have hair. <laughs> and- <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, no, uh, that's one thing that might actually never happen. Um, not, not anymore. Not anymore. Um, but, uh, oh, really? I was yeah. looking forward to that. He said you get really strong. Um. Well, you, you can po- get strong. Could potentially still get strong, but not like you're not gonna get any like grab his arms and like do, 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 bigger. He said also like when when you get really old, you can get a nice big bushy beard. Oh, we could buy you a like a fake beard. Yeah, but growing facial hair is out now. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I wasn't looking, and they also said you could, I would get a deeper voice. Uh, Jacob, because of what you turned into, you're kind of stuck as, and I gestured to all of him. Oh, yeah. I feel good though. I don't feel like a uh, hard to breathe and everything like before. That's the spirit. That's that's really good. 
In fact, I don't feel like I breathe at all anymore, really. You really don't. You're not. You can go swimming for a long time. Ooh, I've never been swimming. <laughs> well, well, we'll put on the list. Yeah, well, it's on, make, the, it's on the make list. A, make a list, and then we'll... we'll... Yeah, let me make a list of all the things that you want to do that we could possibly do uh, in the vicinity of this uh, town city. <laughs> and uh, next time, we'll actually ask to make sure we're not trespassing, apparently. Well, if a place is closed, typically you're trespassing if you're there after closing. Well, I mean, I, I don't care about that. I, more the supernatural trespassing. What do you mean supernatural? We just ran into like the show, books, dude. No, not the show, but kind of like the show, but not the show. We're talking about the literal werewolves we met like 30 minutes ago. Oh, I thought those were those vampire things you're talking about that change of uh, shape. No, I, that's what I wasn't sure of. The flip of a coin, but no, those were actual like werewolves. Oh, uh, I look over to Mari. Didn't you guys, don't you guys know like Harry Potter or something? You know Daniel Radcliffe? No, uh, we no, we we know uh, Dan, uh, who is Dan, was he the is, Harry Potter books? I don't remember. Dan was it Dan? No, <laughs> uh, but we we know some some very powerful people. Um, that, you know if. I can't say to if you want to meet them. Um, it, you know, we know powerful people and maybe we could get access to some places so you could go to them. So we need to gain, so you need to talk to your very powerful friends so we can go swimming. No, we could probably just do that. Oh. What does the community center have? I've not actually explored it. It's an interesting place, I assume. Community center. Is it like the YMCA or is it something different? Mm. Okay. So, can we go swimming tonight? Uh, I mean, it's getting late, but I don't feel tired like I normally do. Well, I mean, this is going to be your new normal time. Your the internal like clock, like you normally like to wake up early or oh. wake up late. Now it's you wake up really late and you stay up fairly early yeah weird yeah oh you could go see a movie are there late night movies out i i, I, don't I haven't know. i have not seen a theater in a while i don't know i've never not been to you a movie i'm not either. talking to you <laughs> you've been bedridden for like i don't know how long oh uh, where am i Oh, should we go back to my house? I, I, I do know that my parents have a house we can go to. No. Uh, oh. Right. But I, we can go there and visit my siblings. What? Uh, you have siblings? Mm -hmm. How many? Two. Oh. oh. Uh, how Older. old are they? How old are they? Um, a sister who's fourteen and a brother who's twenty-two, but he still lives in the basement. And my mom was saying the other day that he needs to get his ass off the couch and get a damn job so he can get out of the house. And he said, "My sister." Uh, needs to stop hanging out with all the boys and actually uh, concentrate on her studies or she is going to uh, become like a Dundalk person and that's not a proper. Uh oh Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't visit too often because they don't really like the hospital as much. I've seen it a couple times, but it's mainly my parents who visit. Um. Mm. I One time when I was uncon when they thought I was sleeping, my, my, my older brother came and he said that he kind of wished I would just die so they didn't have to worry about the financial burden. 
He didn't know okay, I said that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah. We're we're gonna go swimming. Uh, we're not gonna worry about your siblings. We have at this point. There's a lot that's happening in my brain right now, and I'm just. We're just gonna go swimming. <laughs> cool. I I I, I look at Sean. <laughs> Uh, you, 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 you take the lead. I'll take the kid. And, uh, maybe, maybe give Liz a call, <laughs> you know, okay. for potential ad- advice or just to let her know because she seems to want to know. So are you calling Liz or am I calling Liz? No, I'm taking the kid. You're calling Liz. Okay. 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 Are you going to finish that ice cream, by the way, kid? Uh, no, I, it just sitting too hard on my stomach. Mm. Oh, just an interesting note. Uh, this is apartment complex that she goes to. Does have a pool? Cool. Do we know that? This does. What just interesting? Hmm. All right. As you do that, we cut to the other group. Yeah. Do so, any vampires live under the ocean? Uh, I think the pressure's too much for them. I mean, it depends on how deep hmm. you are. So if it's not too deep, it, they do live there. I wouldn't say do, but they could. Wouldn't you get really? I mean, I know, like, you know, we don't worry about certain things, but wouldn't you get really kind of gross? Have you seen Pavel? I mean, I smelled Across it. Across town. Oh, something hurt. It's He'd tactless. be cleaner if he was in flowing water at all times. Are we allowed to be? Is that a myth? I forget. It, I mean, there are certain <laughs> I've never read that, that in the book, I could tell you. I've heard that there are certain individuals that have issues with running water, with like crossing it. That's probably why Pavel smells. Still. Yeah, he crossed running water once and now it won't touch him. You know, yes. I don't know. I was assuming it was the Nosferatu thing, but who knows? Hmm. So, okay. Then. That was just an idle thought. Living down with the fishes. Um, I think I'm going to send a message to... What time of night is it, Kevin? It's getting kind of late, right? Yeah, it's probably getting around midnight 30 or so. All right. Uh, she would use whatever um, is like the standard protocol for like uh, to have to do a meeting with the primogen um, and let them know that it'll be held at uh, Kinetic tomorrow night. Get a lot of confirms. One question. Maybe. Kevin, mm-hmm. if who's the acting primogen if ours is out of town for the Ventrue? So that's the fun thing. The typically whoever is prince doesn't have their own primogen because then they get two votes. Oh. So technically, while Ebenezer was prince, we didn't have a primogen. I thought John Thomas was technically primogen while when Ebenezer's no Ebenezer ascended. Was- Ebenezer was primogen before he became prince. After mm-hmm. he became prince, we just didn't have a venture primogen for a while. Oh. But like if we had one, it would have probably been John. It depends on the city, how it's handled. Some cities are like fine with having the extra representation. Some are not, especially. I think it didn't go over so well just because there were so few venture in the city. Yeah, and there's even less of us now. Yep. Yep. The, the <laughs> de facto uh, and true promise in the city currently would be, if there is one, would be Julian Luna. Oh. Who's the oldest, most uh, experienced one in the city. I haven't met him yet. He's oh, actually, hello, Kitty. He's actually pretty great. He, uh, he has this amazing restaurant in town, which uh, will will break your credit card but is worth it i don't know if it'll break it but well if you're buying for everybody at the table it certainly will 
who does that? That's ridiculous. And I, oh, sorry. I wasn't asked beforehand. <laughs> it was just put on my card. You've given your card out. Hey, you're living the high life now. You you have I've owned like the best club in town. And you sort of rule the city. I mean, it's still a little surprise to walk into a $3,200 bill than uh, wake up to a $3,200 um, charge on your a credit card the next morning. That do Kindred pay taxes and do I you get that? Used it? Uh, I mean, it depends and no. <laughs> Surely you get some sort of recompense. Is that the right word for being in charge? Um, okay, so like... So Kindred paid like, I mean, they still, whatever they buy, they buy with like human money. So they probably pay taxes to the state. Um, but like the prince isn't a paid position. It does open up a lot of financial opportunities that wouldn't be there otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not like, we don't typically get a salary that said there are some princes that have a thing where like embezzling kindred <laughs> <laughs> well that's different um maybe your second week uh when a kindred within your domain is meets final death uh their resources have to be allotted out they have to like figure out where all of those things go because typically kindred don't have standing wills um and depending on the city and the prince it depends on how that goes some princes are like oh well i'm the prince everything is mine and some princes will hand out uh certain th aspects of the estate to people as favors uh and it really depends but we haven't had anybody uh, meet final death in a while. Until that... you find Chris. I honestly wouldn't expect him to have anything more than like $20 and a gum wrapper in his pockets. Yeah, he's probably got nothing. Considering this is the dumb fuck that tried to rob the Nosferatu Primogen. Not wise. No, he... This guy. Which should make it easier to find him unless somebody's helping him or someone killed him already and is hiding that. I don't know why anybody would. Because they knew what he did before anybody else. He's probably just hiding in a basement somewhere. I mean, if he knows what's good for him, he would have left town. Mm -hmm. But he's also a fucking moron, so he probably didn't. You sent that other guy out of town. I wonder if you could check with him and see if Chris did the same thing. I doubt he could afford it. Not on his own. That was very expensive. But I wonder what the other two are up to. Um, I'm gonna Hope you're just having a good time with that little puppy. Yeah, apparently they went to the zoo. Hmm. Everybody um, likes the zoo. Okay, I can't foresee any problems with going to the zoo. I bet they just walked right in there. And nobody bothered them, and they got to see all the animals they wanted. Oh, more than likely. Oh, yeah, they definitely got... I'm sure they got caught and chased out. By what? By the security. So what? Please. I just hope they didn't make a scene. Um... I hope they did. That'll be funny to hear about. Does this have security other want, than just big no, doors? Because if they make a scene, then that's a masquerade breach that is my responsibility to clean up. Because that's they're... just hooligans breaking into a zoo. That's not necessarily a masquerade breach. Unless they like I jump mean, it, over a wall or yeah, throw a person. It really depends. I mean Or if Mary does something that like is magic, flicks her blood at somebody. Who the hell knows? Um I mean, I I want to say that they are smart individuals and Mari is incredibly smart. But good God, sometimes... You can be smart and stupid at the same time. 
I I am guilty of the same thing occasionally. When panic sets in, she just does. And mm-hmm. I don't know that it was the best choice to take the child with her. Yeah, I don't know why why that happened. She apparently Frederick is uh terrible with children and uh she She thought she could do better. Yeah. She she felt bad for the kid. And I'm like, on one hand, I hear you. On the other hand, I fucking told Frederick to watch him. It's Frederick's job because the prince told him to watch him. And I don't really care if Frederick's not having a good time. Hmm, this could be an interesting also, problem. I mean, like, if the kid is, if we are going to send the kid off with this individual, Amir, it is better that he does actually interact with other kindred other than Frederick, especially considering I'm pretty sure Frederick literally just put him in front of the switch and ignored him the entire time. That's definitely not a long-term plan. No, no, no. Frederick had no long-term plan. His long-term plan was to make it my problem. <laughs> Sounds about right. But it's only been like a day. I mean, yeah, but when you're eight years old, a day feels like forever. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of back-end time experience to compare it to. That's true. So, I had thought Mm. I have to meet with uh, Sean Sire. Mm. Millie, was it? Mm-hmm. All right. I was thinking of doing it right after and then uh, maybe announcing the blood hunt and then uh, meeting with her right after or the other way around. If you make it or engineer it so she sees and hears that you are announcing a blood hunt, she might give you fear and respect just by proxy. Yeah, she seems like the type that would appreciate a good blood hunt. Sounds just, like a good idea. Just by what Sh- the little Sean has told us. So that appearance. Which, like, honestly, is all I need to know because, good <laughs> fucking God. And I thought our embraces were brutal. Look over it, uh, Sophia. Mm. If we're going to be having a lot of Prince meetings at Kinetic for the next few days, at least, we should set, set, set aside a few of the special rooms that are next to each other for the meetings and for the people waiting for meetings, just so they're That's not smart, getting yeah. in the middle of a lot of other things. Yeah. Good idea. Mm-hmm. I guess uh, let's do that and I'll uh, uh, text text the other two chuckleheads and ask what they're up to and then text John and say hey, you can uh, tell Millie to meet me tomorrow night at and I'll say like a certain time after whatever time I'm supposed to be meeting with the Parmesan Council like an hour and a half after I'm meeting with them. While she's doing that, I'm going to talk to John B and give him some uh, tasks to take care of the, uh, the next day. Uh, number one, go by uh, my home and check that there hasn't been any sort of changes or deliveries or incursions or anything showed up there or got adjusted or altered. I haven't been there a few days. Like, uh, if you find bombs, let me know. <laughs> There's an outside small chance that somebody did something like that. But, uh, yeah. Mrs. I don't know what that would look like. Uh, you going to send glitter bombs again? Uh, mm. Worse, but s- sort of similar. Poop bombs. But, no, they're worse so that, like, they will blow you up. Like, physical bombs. Not non the non-prank type of bombs. It's like, ooh, competition is getting fierce this season. Yep. People are really into it. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, go to see if Lawrence Stanley can send along a certain list of names that he's been preparing 
to Liz, he'll know what, what you're talking what you're talking about. And then see if you can find out more about this uh, this new girl that he's been looking at recently, if you know what I mean. <laughs> find out what you can about that. It's like, he's trying to make a new mentee. It's like dot dot dot. I thought Lawrence was gay. He's looking to help with he's trying to do what he did with me, but with a different person. Question mark. Okay, I, out. I really check it out. I thought he was just, gay. <laughs> no, just see if there is a new woman that he's been like looking after and advising a lot recently or has around to, you know, shadow him constantly, that sort of thing. See see if there's anyone new in it. Check see if there's any more, uh, any new proteges. Yes, that's the word. Protege. Yeah. All right. So, other group. So, I think, uh, Liz, you sent a message to them. What was the message exactly again? Just like, um, tell your side. Uh, the group, like the group net uh, <laughs> text asking Mari and Sean what they're up to, and then message Sean directly and told him to uh, tell Millie to meet me tomorrow night mm-hmm. at such and such time. So I received those messages. Thumbs up the, the the direct message and then immediately message Miss Amato to let her know that there's a been a meeting set up tomorrow at whatever specific time. She sends back whatever the, specific uh, place. That devil pur- purple devil emoji like <laughs> at kinetic <laughs> fucking devil emoji. <laughs> oh. Wow subtle <laughs> she's like i'm working on the emojis <laughs> god damn it i don't want to like her no there's still time <laughs> uh yeah uh probably uh what does mari do anything Just respond back to that uh i I'm gonna, um, the plan was to call Liz, uh, but I'm just gonna, uh, I'll just text Liz because I'm freaking out a little bit. Fireworks, Callie. Fireworks? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do too, I ran out of my room. <laughs> Seth, not now. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> Fireworks! <laughs> Fireworks, <Well>, Mari! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that was recorded. It's not, you know, uh, it's not, that was my brother. Um, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll text Liz and say, um, uh, might be a slight situation with the kid. There's two siblings at the house. Um, taking him to a pool. Uh, do you know any? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> That's it. That's what I said. I'm just going to call. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey. He was like, oh, is that your uh, ex-boyfriend again? You should tell him that either He's you- He's in the car with Sean! Mm-hmm. I can hear it from here! Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I- um, do we know how old the siblings are? Uh, one is 14, one is 22. Oh, well, that's good, at least. Um, and they didn't seem like they cared much about him. I mean, or at least. All right, we'll need to get their names kind of- and I'll see a <sighs> I don't know if it was like a family thing but that he said that they didn't you know i don't know he wasn't around them a lot i mean 
it was a stressful situation he was in. I'll see what I can do uh, to make sure that there's no additional cleanup needed there. Um, so I'm guessing going to the zoo didn't happen? Uh, werewolves showed up. I'm sorry, what? Um, yeah, Pavel decided he wasn't going to let us know that there was, um, werewolves at the zoo. Like, a lot of them. Okay. It's been a long evening. Do you have the capability of doing it, what you did at your bookstore to my apartment? Checking for um, unsolicited packages. I could call Mario and ask him. That would be appreciated. Let's do that and then I can meet you there. Okay. Uh, so you, is, do you have a pool at your apartment? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Also, try to be aware of what you're saying on the phone, dear. Yeah. Um, uh, there were... <laughs> I can't save this one. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Think about it. You would think living in a mafia family. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mari. I don't say that. I don't say that. The mafia oh, family shit. killing all those people. That was a joke. Burying them at twenty three fifteen. That was a joke. That was a joke. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. As okay. soon as I, as soon as I hang up, I just pick up a pillow off of the couch and scream into it. Something uh, vexes me. Something always vexes me. Did I hear someone say werewolf? Yeah, we're going to have to have like a crash course in what not to say on the phone again. I thought we'd been through this. <laughs> but you guys are going to my apartment. Uh, we are? Uh, well, at least the building. Um the kid would like to go swimming i need to learn more there are many things uh do you guys want to get in my car this time and i'll actually maybe remember to pass off a damn bowling bag to sean he looks like a bowler no it's got a fucking head in it jalon that i need him to dispose of still but yeah, of the group of us, he does look like the only one of us that would look that would join a bowling league. <laughs> yeah. And so you'll meet up at Liz's apartment complex. And along the way, I will tell them what Mari word vomited to me. Yeah, werewolves not fun. Um not not a thing to fuck around with as far as I've been told. Uh, did not know that they made their home in Druid Hill. That's good to know. Feel like I maybe should have been told that, but you know. You should get a map of the city and just start like sectioning things off. And I notes. have one and it's marked with kindred domains. Apparently not uh this is cat not remembering what they call werewolves. Other Garu or the night the night folk. If you uh, want to include everybody. Furries. I thought, I thought it was like Garu. If you want Garou. the fancy. Yeah, Luke yeah. Garou. That's the French. Yeah. But you would probably just call them like werewolves. Uh, lupines. That's what it was. Lupines. Mm -hmm. uh, lupines. Yeah, Garu is what they call themselves, I think. Uh it it doesn't have those guys listed. Hmm. We're gonna need a bigger map. Mm -hmm. I have quite a few at home, but yeah. Yeah, so we, we head to my apartment. Yeah, 
pull up, fight over some parking. Um, have we never been here before? Is that correct? No, you've not. Ooh, Nobody had. None, none of you guys have. Cozy is going to be pissed. She's going to be so fucking pissed. Though, <laughs> I'm not taking anybody up to my actual apartment just yet, at least. We're going to the pool first. Go to the pool. Um, Kids just... Like public pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, it's not, not it's, an apartment building. It's a yeah, it's only for pool. That's true, it's 1 a.m., so... Yeah, people at the apartment. Yeah. So you go up there, it's pretty nice. Kids just like... <gasps> I don't have a swimming suit. When you're what are those for? I like I how you think. think. Yeah. Make you time. Gosh. Oh, just sit down. Look, on look over arms. at the sign or it's like no, no, skinny, dipping. no skinny dipping. <laughs> I just imagine the fat, kid like big fat throws, marker and just like he just out. throws his t-shirt over the sign to cover <laughs> it up. It's fine. It's like, I just sit down. Ah, ah, I've never swam before. Oh. I'll figure it out. <laughs> what's what's going to happen? After a few moments, he, he panics like, and goes into frenzy. I see. To the side, like, <laughs> I can wait, think of that. We don't breathe. I don't My breathe. God, I think he's got it. Yeah, he figured it out. Hi, uh, George. What? All so, right, we'll just like start digging in the water and you'll swim. Just... There's a ladder. You can climb out. Just sit down on a lawn chair near or don't near Stamari. So you guys ran into werewolves in the zoo. Apparently, yes. they, the whole domain is Jupiter Hill. Fabulous. Like, like apparently we could have been attacked when we were there before. And then so we're gonna have to have a talk with Pavel. Well, people go there during the like regular people go there, right? Without getting attacked. Yeah. I well, feel like yeah, I would have heard regular, about it if regular people aren't us. That's for sure. They can probably smell the difference. I, uh... I mean Mari's folks have the ability to tell whether somebody is a werewolf or a kindred or a something else. I assume the werewolves have the same. Maybe they don't care if it's at the daytime when the public is there. Maybe they don't care well, if it's also they the public. don't care during the daytime because we can't go there during the daytime. Yeah, that's mm. true. <laughs> I did. I, I did. There's no way I forgot that. Can they turn um, into werewolves during the daytime, or are they just normal people? I think yeah, what's they their can deal? Do whatever the fuck they want, whenever they want. Also, is the full moon just like is that a, is that a myth that was propagated by werewolves to like oh it's I have no rain idea. occurrence? Oh yeah, like a trick. Like we think they they have like a weakness. All I know or is that they're very something. dangerous and they assholes. One of the few things that uh, their bare hands will fuck you up. I thought they were wolves. <laughs> Wolf hands. Yeah, you Are they were bears. Like normally, if somebody punches you, it's not it, like it, it. It doesn't really do much. When a werewolf punches you, it hurts a lot more. Hmm. It's like what I can do with mortals against us. Yeah. What do you do to mortals? Well, like Whatever I want. One's head off once. Like all the way off. Yeah, it landed on Mari's hood. Okay, what did they do to you? I had no uh, idea who they were. They didn't do anything. Well, they were attempting to shoot Cozy. Yeah, they did have uh, a gun and, pointed at Cozy, and they were SI. So, and we found out uh, la- la- later. We suspected okay, wait, wait. It. We ghosts, I didn't. Ghosts, zombies, werewolves, SI. Who haven't you fucked up with? It's a big city. I mean. You're here long enough. We haven't fought in mages. We've only uh, had we've only had we've only had good relations with mages. Yeah, mages are I mean, cool. Well, yeah, good. I mean, good to neutral. I mean, some yeah, vampires are say, also basically wizards. I wouldn't say that our last encounter with uh, a mage was the most pleasant, but it was at least not antagonistic. Interesting. It was very creepy. 
it was not it was it, it was basically a haunted house it was not a thing i ever i would be interested haunted in house again. i got no sure. idea what is jacob doing <laughs> he's just in there he's like this is like awesome i like doggy it paddling. has he figured out to, to doggy paddle he just he's like actually i've been just kind of like jumping and treading because I, I i don't seem to have buoyancy speaking of doggy paddle is that what the doggy is doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's the dog doing mari what, what that dog doing dog is just sniffing an area where there's a sign that that's basically where you walk your dogs for the apartment people. Oh, the five by five square of grass. Yeah, it's just over yeah. there like piss. Yeah, doing the normal. Mm. Okay. It's just well, like, at least he's well trained already. Yeah, I guess Gregory did a good job. Um, by the way, I I figured you hadn't really thought it through that far considering it had happened like an hour ago i have a package coming here tomorrow the uh, puppy starter kit uh... <laughs> considering i don't see a leash or collar or any I, of that I just, also uh... any of us talk to it <laughs> I know Santiago could do that. That's not a thing that I know how to do. It's a thing I've <laughs> no. considered, but um, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking that uh the kid definitely should probably go with Amir. Oh, uh, the dude with the turban in the park. The person didn't you talk to that person? You were there. We weren't. We I literally was there. talked to him like a few hours ago. It's not important. Okay. Okay. All right. Regarding the siblings, my first thought would be to have... Hey, hey, the kid's fucking right there. Yeah, I know. Hi. He's playing. How long can you stay underwater, my dear? Let's oh, find let me out. check. Oh, goodbye. Depends when right, sunrise is. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was thinking of having somebody. My first thought was to send uh, our contact on the police force over to do a wellness check, just to check on them and see what they're up to, see if they're still there, see if they're looking for the kid or anything. But honestly, I do not trust Bill Doyle whatsoever. Uh, mm -hmm when it comes to this delicate of a situation. So I need to send somebody to check up on these kids without raising any suspicion. But I don't know who to send. Well, if the parents are dead and that's known by the official people of the town, uh, police, that's or whatever thing. i don't know if if they if they're if they're known to be dead or if they're just presumed missing i don't know how well frederick cleaned up hmm well the older one's too old for cps he might be made the guardian of his sister i mean maybe a lot of legal stuff to go on that's none of our business well, maybe you I should just, find out i just what... want to make sure that they're not going to go looking for the kid Maybe you should call Frederick and see what the story is about where he went from the hospital. We could call if the kids and say, are your dead. parents home? Act like we're trying to meet the, talk to their parents and see what they know. Hey, kids, are your parents home? Yeah, that's creepy. Also, it's like two in the morning. Well, not now. <laughs> well, what if you find out what Frederick did to set up the kid disappearing? And the parents disappearing. Find out from your police contact if there's been a missing persons report filed on the parents. Yeah. Then you'll know. And then if they haven't filed a missing person report yet on the parents, depending on the cover story that Frederick came up with, you could always go and tweak the sibling's memory a little bit. 
Yeah, I think we should make a lot of use out of uh, memory adjustments. Yeah, the issue is, is I... Yes. I personally don't have the capability of changing their memory. Not <laughs> that late. Delegate. Not that far. <laughs> you, oh. You're like in charge of half the city, I'm Do sure. You, Sophia? I mean, mm. I might have some skill at that. Okay. I know Frederick could, but I also uh, am uh, surprised, uh, uh, understandably hesitant to introduce Frederick to literally any underage person ever again. Why? Because he's a fucking crazy person when it comes to children. That's disturbing. He just has no concept of that children don't operate like adults. Fair Kids enough. like when you treat them like adults. That's fair. 16 year, 15, 16? 14 and 20. Close two, I think. Something I mean, like a that. 22 year old, you could always, it's an adult. I mean, is anybody looking for a new Childler? I don't know. School? No, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, get any more involved in this family than I have to. The last thing we need is a whole extended messy family attached to. That's fair. This mess. I also sounds uh, no, like they're I agree. not great people. No. So remember, you. I mean, re figure out what they know, and then you know, yeah. if need be. Change the memory. Change some things. Um, yeah, so what did the werewolves do? Did you guys actually like tussle or did they just tell you get the fuck out? And... Oh, I was nice. <laughs> Good. I they, would just, they were just they were just like, you don't belong here, get out. I, really... I asked them if we could stay a little bit, and they said no. But boy, did I want to rip the throat out of that guy. His name was Ralph. Though he did say that wasn't his real name. Okay. Yeah, I really odds? don't want to have to get into a tussle with uh, lupines. That's not a thing that I am interested in, considering... Anarch War, possibly still dealing with fallout from Thin Bloods, and then these assholes too. Which, by the way, do you mind calling Mario? Oh, no, sorry. I'll call Mario. Uh... It can be tomorrow. I understand um, if it's kind of last minute for him. It's he. It's. No, I suppose he I'll, could check during the day. I'll give him a call. Huh. I walk over a little bit. And he's just like, yeah. On the line, like, huh? Mario, what, what's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those are guys I, just trying to get some uh, uh some extra sleep. Been busy a couple last couple of days. Oh, okay. Um, can you do just? I'll make it quick. Can you do another sweep, um, of my friend's building? Okay, uh, text me the location. I get a team in there. All right. Thank you. All right. Good night. Did they He's say do it. what form the bombs took if they were just in their basic cardboard paper or whatever, or if they were shaped into like things that you could, that were hidden or how obvious was it? Does that make sense? Uh, I, well, think yeah, there... did, I think Mari actually found some. So like, what did it look like when she found it? Uh, the uh, thing was, at least at that community center stuff, it was essentially where they did some uh, drywall work and basically put it behind the drywall like, and then covered it up. Hmm. 
But it, if you looked at it, you would say that's a bomb. Uh, if you found the if you found C4. it, yeah, yeah. But most of the time, it's hard to tell when they do drywall so work behind they... walls and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking about my own my own things. Thinking about myself. It's very unlikely that there is any of that in Jalan's home, but because he hasn't had any uh, renovations recently or anything like that. Just making sure it wasn't shaped like some sort of plaster bust or something. Mm. Matryoshka Gadol's. dolls. They're not that subtle. Kitty. This uh, secondary Chris. After a few moments, the Jake was like, I held my breath for so long, but I think I'm bored. Gets out of the water. He's like, Check the time. How long was it? 10 minutes or so. It's like, oh, 10 minutes. Do we get a towel? I'm wet and I need to put my clothes back on. Oh, get my towel. I assume they have some up here. You found a little uh, cabinet with a couple. We don't know what kind of powers he has. No. Not really, no. His sire was a gangrel. Mm hmm. What's a gangrel? So, you, you are. I don't know. Can you talk to the dog? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Woof, woof. Nope. I, I don't know enough to give you any advice. Am I, uh, so, should I be able to talk to the dog? So when... Mm -hmm. It's not impossible. Pavel and, and Mari and Sean explained that what you are now, correct? Pavel did. He just came right out and said it. Yeah, See, kids like, like it when you treat them like adults. That reminds so, me. Uh, now that we're all here, do we want to cover the kids' ears, break the news? Let's find out what Frederick's cover story was first. So that maybe we can share that with him. Yeah. Um, okay. You don't start cutting the fabric until you have the entire uh, plans. Uh, so vampires, or what? Uh, you may hear some of us refer to ourselves as kindred. Oh, like uh, hillbillies. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, exactly so, like hillbillies. Hillbillies. One for one. Said. Uh, we come in a bunch of different families, effectively. Hillbillies. Oh, don't talk about family. Depending on who made you into a vampire determines what kind, where you're from, what one you're descended from. Mm. So the individual that made you is what we call a gangrel. They're uh, known for their connection to nature and uh, more animalistic sort of traditions, supposedly. Um, and each of these bloodlines, as it were, have special powers. Oh. Like my personal one of mine is that I am extremely durable. I can survive pretty much anything that would kill a lot of other people, especially mortals. Like a knife? Yeah, knives are no problem. A shooter? I've been shot before, yeah. It gave me a bruise. Cancer? When did you learn to call a gun a shooter? That's one by oh. one friend called. He said he played a lot of first-person shooters. Oh, I mean, okay. it is it is 20, I thought there was 2022 synonymous. America, so. Well, I mean, like, I know there's a lot of odd terms that the British use in the past about calling guns, different fun words. Yeah. Um, That's not relevant. Uh, so we were wondering what you might have. Uh, one of the things that the gangrel are known for is their ability to communicate with animals and tell them what to do. Uh, it's a something we call animalism. Uh, okay. 
Do I remember what the other gangrel powers are, Kevin? Uh, fortitude and protein. Okay. Um, there's a chance that you also have one similar to mine, the uh, very durable one. Um, I am durable. I went through many rounds of chemo and I made it. Well, that was before uh, you became a vampire. Afterwards, things are a little different. You will never have to worry about cancer again, for what it's worth. There's no remission in the cards for you. Good. I beat cancer's ass. My parents would be so proud. Mm-hmm. We're all proud. Um, Protean is a little different. Uh, from what I recall of that one, it's changing your physical body to do extra things. Like you could perhaps grow claws or Ooh. is that the one that lets you shape change Kevin yeah mm-hmm. or turn into an animal though that one's very complex from what I've been told oh. and when do I get these when I get older uh well some of these you probably already have you just have to learn how to sort of unlock them oh. um but others you'll figure out how to use as you continue on in the evenings. Sounds like me like I should meet this person, uh, meet uh, one of these gang girls and they can teach me. Since they're my family. It's too bad we don't know any. Meanwhile, at the community center. We do know. Where the hell is everybody? <laughs> there was one at the club earlier. Yeah, but he's leaving. Everyone seemed to like him. Technically, there are two in the Camarilla. I've not really ever interacted with them beyond meeting them, I think. But well, Sean and I went to a bar earlier that was full of gang girls. But we probably don't want to be taking this kid out and about think, to meet meet the society. I think we want to make sure that uh, we have a place for you to stay for the next couple of nights before we introduce you to the rest of the gang role. Uh, they're a very rowdy and chaotic bunch and not exactly used to dealing with kids. That's the other thing that you'll notice, Jacob. There, there aren't any other kids among us. It's it's not. It's very odd and unusual for somebody to make a vampire of somebody so young. Everyone so, always underestimates children. They always treat us like we don't, we're not full adults. We, we can do adult things. You can, but it this will make your life harder. Harder than dying of a disease? Well, harder than it would have been if you had been an adult when it happened. Oh, I probably wouldn't have lived that long. You're doing great, Liz. Keep going. Thanks. Yeah, it's poor as flawless. Oh, I'm not in any pain, so that's good. That is good. Oh, oh, do I have to sleep in a coffin like in the shows? No, no. Do you want I, to? I no. sleep in a regular bed with very nice sheets. Uh, you just want to avoid the sun. I have very, very, very thick curtains to make sure of that and oh, yeah. tinted windows. I got a coffin on layaway. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Just in case uh, parents let me pick one out. God, that's dark. (laughs) You could use it. Still got a couple payments, I think. 
it does have um it is more secure there are some vampires that prefer that security um it's like a weighted is, blanket is definitely mm. something you'll want to avoid it will kill you very quickly so where am i going to sleep tonight or morning i guess uh I guess at Kinetic with us. I'm too young Unless, to be in a club. I mean, well, don't we have it'll a spare be room in the, then. in the center? The center is not safe yet. Oh, yeah. Um, you sit you in an apartment. Can we stay there? Unfortunately, due to some other circumstances, my a lot of our apartments are being renovated right now, so it's not really safe for any of us Rats? to stay there. Uh, yeah, it no, is a shame. Just <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Julon. Never change. Uh, I can't. It's unusual for everyone to have the same renovation going on at the same time. Sort of yeah. a package deal. Yeah, the rap- rats have been real explosive. <sighs> well, I mean... Remember, even though I'm a kid, I've I've endured a lot of stuff and very mature. You don't have to hide everything from me. I know, but there are some things that money can't buy. Everything else was mentioned. Oh no. There are some things that it's better for you to not know just for your own safety. Ah. Me being um sort of in charge. I have a lot of enemies. So should I... If you have a lot of enemies, would it not be safer for me not to be near you? Well, right now, this is the safest place that we know of. The pool? Well, kinetic. He's got you. But we're not kinetic. We're at a pool. No, but... You don't know what what kinetic is. The, the guy downstairs said, you said this was your your apartment's here, but you said your apartment's not safe. If your apartment's not safe, but this is the safest place, that doesn't make sense because your apartment yeah. is in this place. Jacob, calm down. Are, are, you, are you lying to me? I'm not lying. As far as I know, my apartment is safe. We're just trying to be as cautious as possible. Because one of the other things that There are sort of groups of of kindred of vampires. Bloodlines. Mm-hmm. Uh, but among those bloodlines, there are different groups. Uh, some of them uh, are my kind. They're called the Camarilla. That's the group that I'm a part of. And then there are others uh, that hate our guts and would love to kill us. Hmm. and we want to make sure that you are safe from them and safe from the sun so to make sure that I am safe from them and safe from the sun you're going to take me to a place which from the sounds of it is a place you go frequently and they know that you go there frequently it's also got a shit ton of security And it's neutral. Do you know what that means? It's gray. Yeah. Socially. Politically. I saw, I saw an episode of a show called Futurama that had a neutral planet. It's just like that. It's gray. They're like, tell my wife. I say Hello? hi. Yeah. That's fun. I like yeah, we all show. we all like Futurama. <sighs> We could watch that at the the place we're going. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm just a kid. I don't really have a choice in the matter. Not much of one, not really. No. It's just how it is to be a child. You just adults just don't understand. True. They don't. We don't. Yep, they don't. Yeah, you think you would because you went through it, but. 
the lack of agency and the lack of ability of control my life. Well, either either one get used to it because again you're stuck like that forever, or do something about it. Mm. So just heads up. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll go wherever you tell me to go. Guess again, no choice. Yeah. All right. Is there anything we have to do before we head? Why don't you carry me on your shoulders? Head back to kinetic. I don't know. Do you have any business? Were you supposed to call anyone else? Meet anyone else? Setting up any plans? Yeah, any princely duties? What are supposed to do before we head <clears throat> back to Kinetic? And go bowling. Oh, well, I'm mm -hmm. going to give you that when we get in the car. So um, you're going to give Sean head when you get back in the car. Wow. Christ that is dangerous. Get out. It's not, there's a kid at present. <laughs> Who said that? Get out. Um, Kid's older than he looks. <laughs> That's the cancer. I am uh, meeting with all of the prime gen <laughs> tomorrow to make a decision uh, and and find this uh, Chris Taylor. Finally. Wow. Uh, any any uh, other people that you were thinking about meeting that you should set a meeting with? I feel like you're hinting at somebody. I look at Sean and I look back at you. Oh, I did send him a message. Uh, apologies huh? for not um, sharing that with you. Oh. I plan on meeting with Miss Amato tomorrow evening after the uh, meeting with the Primogen. Uh, I believe you were invited to meet with her as well. So you're welcome to before or after. Look at Sean. <laughs> look at Mari. Look at the dog. <laughs> Me too. Dog. <laughs> Is the dog just biting the pool water? Dog's just chewing on it on its sub uh, paw, you know, just like no. What's it what's the puppy's name? Dwayne. Oh yeah. The doomed night. I'm sure that's not gonna be an issue at all. No. Not even a little. That is like King River. <laughs> so, you hit on out? Yeah. All right, as you're sure. leaving to go down, uh, the security guy at the door stops you, just like, uh, Miss Coldwell. Yes. Uh, there's someone, uh, uh, I sent someone up to your apartment. Did you get a hold of them? What Who did you send up? Someone said they had to speak with you. It seemed important, so I sent them up. They didn't say a name? They just told me it was important that they speak to you, and I sent them up. All right. I will go check on that. This is far I am going with you. Let's go, let's go see Liz's apartment. Apparently. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> Does the princess sleep? How many That's layers? Cool. Kids, oh. like, I'm confused. I thought we were going to a safer place, but we're going to go to the non safe place. That's right on top of the safe place. Uh, okay, exactly. How about some of you go down to the car and wait at the car, and some of us can go up to my apartment? Who's on nah. babysitting duty? What floor are you on? Go with the kids to the car. She's in the penthouse, I think. Oh, very, very high up. Mm -hmm. Some would say too high up. So for sure. Did, for did Mari is going to take the kid to the car? Or no. I guess so. I couldn't remember. I, you heard said something. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> yeah, took, Mar I'll take you took him out of that I'll, other I'll place. I'll throw you the keys. Okay. Liz, do you do you want us all to come up with you? We have no idea who's I mean, up there. If you want, you don't have to. I don't know what's up there either, so it's up to you. I don't know what I'm dealing with. 
I'll go in the mm, direction the... opposite of the child. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> you make a good point. I should go wait in the car. Scary cat. But Sean, what if it's a werewolf? Uh, I'm sure Princess can handle it. Ooh, but if it is, you can stand up to them and, and say this is your territory and not theirs. You do that, Shalon. All right, goodbye. Have fun. We'll wait in the car. Sean and his cars. We head for the elevator? Yep. Let's go up there. Playing some oldies music, you know, from the 70s. Apparently, from... I'm trying to remember how many floors are in this building. Lucky number 13. 44. There are Ooh, 44 I was way floors. off. <laughs> wow, you would not catch me up there in real life. <laughs> not even slightly. That's definitely not even the tallest uh, building downtown. That's um, why I live in a small town. Get off the elevator and you see your door is slightly ajar i look at liz and i kind of step ahead of you a little bit like giving you the eye like why don't you let someone else go first uh can i use heightened senses to see if i can hear any sort of activity in her apartment without getting too close to it um sure well what's an awareness i'm good at that Normally, I can't tell if that's sarcasm anymore. <laughs> Two successes. All right. Um, you don't really hear much. You do smell a kind of floral perfume coming from the place, but no real strong sounds and stuff from like the you know her penthouse apartment. You hear stuff from downstairs. Someone's apparently playing, uh, watching some weird Japanese show. Out of an abundance of caution, I'm going to do a rouse check to activate toughness. Cool. I am not hungrier. Uh, Sophia, I appreciate it, but I do think that if this were an actual danger, I think I could probably tank something better than you. Ooh. The point is you shouldn't have to. Understandable. It's your choice. I'm going to stroll toward the front door and I'm going to put on my brass knuckles. Uh, So Liz's apartment typically has like a um, key card to open and like a security system (laughs) that is my security system going off or has that been deactivated or what? Um, As you go, it looks like um... You think uh, the actual security themselves deactivated it? <laughs> yeah. So, so walking in, it's um, very uh, like industrial vibe. There's like dark wood floors and tons of thick carpets everywhere, and uh, on all of the windows have these really thick uh, drapes. And then on all of the, every piece, every inch of wall is like art pieces, uh, including an original Donatello. Hmm. Yep. So I'm going to, I'm going to walk in. Yeah. I'm going to walk in as if I am, this is my apartment and I am the, uh, the owner and just stroll into the, uh, entryway foyer living space. And see if I'm greeted and or attacked. Uh, you see uh, sitting on a chair, just kind of like facing the door, reading a book. An old woman in her 80s just looks up. She's like, so you are not Elizabeth. Mm, no. Sophia. Do we recognize this woman? Do I? Yeah. Well, you're in the hall. Do I recognize this woman? You haven't seen her before i'm just full stop and i'm like 
and you I are? Don't... Uh, my name is Elizabeth. I walk in Elizabeth. behind her. Beth. I didn't you... say come in yet. Yeah, I fucking know. Okay. I didn't ask. <laughs> I am the sire of your sire. A full step back. Like I, I, I was in front of Liz. Now I'm shoulder, sh- shoulder to shoulder with Liz. Like Liz walks in, doesn't doesn't hesitate for a second, and immediately does the like whatever the customary bow is to your and great great sire. That is where we end for this session. Yeah. Nope. So it's Liz is going grandsire. upstairs. Yeah. And mine. Yeah. Fuck. All right. <laughs> as, oh, soon as, as soon as i was i was thinking it could have been and then he's like old woman and i'm like it could be it could be oh. and then she recognized you and like thank you all for joining <laughs> us um yeah yeah good i always like uh, leaving with uh you know the cliffhanger kind of thing to salivate the uh, glands for next time salivate i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Always like doing that. I'm Everyone so knows. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we got a lot of things going on. Um. Figuring things out. Um. Yeah. A few returning plot lines. Um. Evolving ones. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. We know Mari's gonna have a great time when she uh, meets up with Cesare to find out what he's been up to for the last several months. Yeah. Maybe just finish the full closure of that uh situation. That'd be nice. Yeah. I'll just close out that chapter. The chapter is closed. I'm starting to think it's not the case. <laughs> My God. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all for joining us. Uh, let's go around um, for the people who might have some plugs. Uh, Jeanette, who just muted to you first. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hi. Good job. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, I'm Jeanette. Um, you can find me on Twitter. Um, it, it should be on the overlay. I'm just kind of processing here. Uh, you can also check out my Twitch channel at Uncanny Underscore Adventures. Uh, there are links that go to YouTube, Patreon, uh, podcast of some of the games that I've run, and um, you can find me playing games on Scotty Hood's channel at Scotty Underscore Hood with two zeros instead of O's. And yeah, um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm good. I just got, you know. Thanks, Kevin. I'm good. All Appreciate right. it. <laughs> um, Callie, got anything going? Uh, hello. Uh, hello. I run a game every other Tuesday. Uh, Reese and I are in it. It's called Unwritten. It, uh, some stuff happened last time. Not too important uh, to the plot or anything. Uh, but if you want to see that, uh, every other Tuesday at 8 o'clock on Fractured Moon d d uh, This coming up. No, never mind. We're not live. <laughs> uh, just check it out. <laughs> That's it for me. All right. Uh, Katrina, we kind of share some stuff, but do you got anything um, also uh, different or what do you want to uh, plug for us? Um, the week after i think the the like a couple of days before this uh our ghost of salt marsh game is up on scotty hood's channel uh that is awesome and terrifying and i think we're gonna fight a kraken next time or some crazy bullshit like that yeah um that's uh pretty much the only other thing that i have going on other than stuff that's here uh hopefully our other shows will be up soon we're getting the overlays done uh but i'll let i'll let Kevin talk about them some more uh also go watch dishonored it is a trip and my husband does everything he possibly can to troll the living shit out of me during it yep and yeah so two new shows will be coming up once we get the overlays finished up uh they should be airing wednesdays i believe we were settling with correct yes all right uh, it will be a power rangers game power rangers insect knights followed by chantry houses of baltimore or chantry house baltimore um which is a mage the ascension game so they should be starting to show up um 
shortly. Hope maybe if we're really, really lucky by the time you're seeing this, there'll be up. If not, we'll get them up when we do. Uh, like I said, we're just waiting on some finalization of the overlay, which um, trying to make it somewhat pretty and presentable. And you'll see it when you watch it. Uh, again, continue watching this and Dishonored. Check out all of the stuff we've done before, the one shots, which another historical one shot will be coming up shortly. Ooh. Um, yeah, we're just trying to find a nice little segue point a little, I guess. Um, but that should be up in a bit. And until then, hope you all had a bloody good time. Bye.